All right, boys, we're doing here, this here, a room clearing part two here. So to understand like the visualization is, this is the entrance way, but the width of a house, which is where my elbows are, this ends up going to a corner, about right there where the camera is, it goes out to the back in line with, like if that target was in the back wall, kind of in the middle of the room, that guy would be standing in the far corner. So you imagine that the near corner is this. The idea is, how do we two-man clear using old school 1993 room clearing stuff, right? It's kind of, it's outdated and stuff, probably uh, some, you know, units or whatever. But the fact is, is that it's difficult to be moving fast, be accurate, and coordinate. So even if it's outdated per se, to make, to manifest the skills to do it is actually more, is pretty complicated. So that's kind of more of the, the concern is if we had to, for what? Whatever worst reason is go into a room and kill a bunch of bad guys. Ideally, if they know we're there as civilians with no armor or anything, we wouldn't even do it. But if we were like sneaking in or whatever, the scenario we could kind of talk about what, what context we use in, it's irrelevant right now. This is about pure mechanics is shooting accurately while on the move and coordinating each other that we don't end up shooting each other. We did this a lot with the mags out and him getting comfortable with moving and shooting starting at like the, the walk very slow and then we start incorporating like the shooting and movement and then now we're doing both of us working together this way by himself is going to that corner coming across and from that corner he's got the whole room but we talked about doing two two man if he's going all the way across to this corner and the other guy goes across that corner you kind of gone criss cross fire so jason what i want you to do Make sure, uh, no, no shooting, we're gonna just go dry here. Uh, all right, do the mechanic of going through to the right, to the corner, and then stopping over there to engage that target, right? So, do the first, do the squeeze, and he goes through, boom, boom. I shoot this guy, boom, boom, I'm coming through. So, you settled on that guy for too long, remember, think about covering this corner. And this is where we would stop. Because I got here, this corner here, all the way to a meter in front of him. You've got from a meter in front of me all the way there. We've got the entire rest of the room covered. So because don't go all the way point. in. Huh? Don't go all the way in. No, you do. If you're going to the right, if we continue what we were learning, right? You came in here, cleared this corner, you cleared this corner, you came across to your right. Remember how we ended yep. here? Now I'm here. This other guy is not going to go as far as you did. Gotcha. Yep. When I came in, I made this guy as well, but I dig this corner and I got here and then I scanned, right? I helped pick up any threats, assuming you've cleared the rest of that. Does that make sense? Yep. So what I want you to do is the guy going to the left. So go ahead, we'll do it slow mo, I'll walk through it because we got, got time, so we gotta speed this one up. All right, so no shooting, we're just running dry. All right, we go, we get the squeeze. He comes in, he shoots that guy. He goes to the left, clears the corner, starts turning, and then he stops right there. Ideally, the guy on the right is going to be in that back corner covering the rest. So I want you to do that same movement, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first, and you follow me and take that corner. Which and corner? Watch. You're gonna go the same way. Okay. All right, no shooting. We're just yep. gonna go dry. Give me a squeeze. Boom! 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 boom, boom. Right, let's see where you're at. You're covering from a meter from my barrel all the way to that corner. We have we don't have cones set up yet to imagine the corner of the room. But this is guys in the corner and the corner's lined up over there. And I've got everything here. You ready? Yeah. Good. Now you can engage speed. Alright, so you go first, your button hook, I go to the corner. You ready? Yep. The main thing I'm doing is I'm keeping my muzzle away from him. Here we go. Hold there. Right, so I know that I can confidently shoot that guy, even though he's downrange for me. I'm, I'm, I'll put this two in the black, right, to make sure I got good shot placement. But you see how the flow is? Now it's an L shape. You got here, all the way here. I've got this corner and then I complete 
the intersecting arcs of fire, right? Does that make sense? Whoever's the first man, I would say, or pass of most resistance. Your first guy, I always say, would want a button hook because it's the hardest way to go. Because if I'm going left, it's easier. But unless he's right on my ass, I have a gap where my back is open. Whereas, as I come through here on the small wall, like you don't have the thickness of the barrels, you can see from here all the way to here. And you might see some of this as you're walking through. So basically, you see here, you clear back, and then all this has been cleared, you just have this one corner you're aware of, right? That's your responsibility. While he has to come in blind, he can see the same space you've already cleared. So his thing is here all the way to here. This is the highest threat. So that's why I say always first person go path of most resistance because it's the most dangerous area. You want your first guy putting bolts there first. All right. You ready? So this is like a wall, right? Like these guys ideally don't know we're here, right? Ready? Yeah. All right, so a little critique here. He kind of pats me. I'd rather you squeeze me, right? Uh, a pat can be confused with a bump. Uh, so keep it to the squeeze. I'm pushing in. Jason, you're about three feet too far back. You need to be right on my ass. That way, as soon as I move out of the way, the gun comes up now and you're shooting. Right? So you're just moving a little bit slow there. I want you up closer. There's too much time that I'm left in the room by myself before you take your shots. Just make sure you keep your eyes up the whole time. You skip that back left corner completely and you're uh, focusing in on that uh, back right corner. I'd rather you assess the target a little bit and take good precision shots because I'm right there by the target and we're still training. Stand by. All right, so just a common issue uh, is again, you know, you're kind of looking down this hallway towards the camera. I want to make sure that as you start moving, uh, that you're focusing on the door a little bit sooner. Right, I feel like you're not looking right at the door. There, you kind of look into the door. Good job shooting on the move. Right, as soon as you're in the doorway. Right, I'm trying to be right behind you. As soon as you step away, I bring the rifle up, engage the same target, making sure we end that threat. I'm going to clear the corner, uh, and then I'm going to swing it over to the back left corner, hit that center target. And then I'm going to check that target again. I'm going a little faster than the last one, but I am making sure I have got good, good precision shots. So what I'm doing there is making sure I'm shooting. And the main thing here is I'm right behind him. I don't want to linger. And I don't want to have my stock doing the short stock stuff because I'm here. I'm not flagging him. As soon as he's moving, I'm behind him. I can shoot so that way there's no gap in the time frame of, you don't want the first guy going in and like two seconds later, the third guy goes in because it's all time for the bad guy to see him and start engaging him before your other buddy comes in to help or they could have, start shooting at the doorway, then you're all kind of fucked.